Commissioner for Communication and Orientation Chris Nehikari, while briefing journalists at the State Secretariat in Benin City, drew the attention of the public on the purported plans by the All Progressives Congress APC to resort to civil unrest owing to the incompetence of its 2024 governorship candidate, Senator Mondi Okwebolo. The commissioner noted that the incitement of civil unrest in the state is not only a propaganda by the opposition party, but also a ploy to divert attention from their candidates' weaknesses and buy time to avoid debate and public engagement. He called on security agencies in the state to take notice of the plan, warning that anyone found culpable will be brought to justice. Our attention has been drawn to the plans by the All Progressives Congress to orchestrate civil unrest, protest destruction, and cause mayhem in the state under the guise of protests and rallies in order to advance their obnoxious political agenda. The candidate, Senator Mondo Mabolo, has continued to embarrass their party and is handless in private and public forum with his poor grasp of basic concepts and intellectual immaturity. They cannot be proud of the product which they have with their party because the party has brought untold hardship to Nigerians and of course Edo people. The security agencies have been told about what they are about to do and invoke the full weight of the law on anybody trying to foment trouble. Reacting to question whether the state government was responsible for rebugging federal government food palliative, Honorable Neihari stressed that the state feeding program was solely funded by the governor and was distributed by religious bodies responsible. The state government did not buy us. What it did is to provide 2.2 billion to can to purchase food and other items, gari, yam, plantain, including rice, to give to vulnerable people. On the issue of the federal government give us rice. So yeah, a few months ago, they brought some few truckloads of rice and they were distributed according to the formula which they said. The Dose government did not touch one of them. It went straight to the local governments and then to the way it was designed to be given out. Special advisor to the Governor on Media Project, Kruso Sagi, also threw more light on the issue, adding that the Obaseki administration is only interested on how to better the lives of its people. What Kana did was they must acknowledge the sponsors of this initiative. That's where the, the bag came in. Say, those state food, food, food support program because they didn't use their money to buy it. That's how, why, how, why they printed the bags like that. And those state government has a, an ongoing plan every other month, 1.2 billion, 1 billion. Can people go and do distribute when they will still cover some places, they'll come back in the next one, say, ah, we have covered X, Y, Z, another 1 billion. This is going to continue to the end of this administration. Melzis Agboma, EBS News.